guys and welcome to Cooking with Fat Julie where I share tips and tricks in the kitchen as well as quick and easy recipes. Today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect popcorn. No more buying popcorn in microwavable bags and no more burning popcorn when you put it in a pot or having some unpopped kernels on the bottom. If you do it the way I show you, you're going to have perfect popcorn every time. First, add about three tablespoons of oil to your pot. Then you're going to throw in three or four kernels of popcorn and cover it. Once those kernels of popcorn have popped, you know your oil is at the right temperature. Then what you're going to do is remove the three popped popcorn kernels, toss your third cup of unpopped popcorn kernels into the oil and make sure that it's, they're all on an even layer at the bottom in the oil. And you're going to take your entire pot off of the heat for 30 seconds. The first step is going to ensure that your oil is at the right temperature for popping the popcorn. The second step is going to make sure that all of your popcorn kernels are at the right temperature for popping. So you're going to throw that back on the heat and let them pop. And once the popping slows down so that there's two to three seconds in between the popping, you're going to pull that off the heat and throw it right away into a big bowl that you're going to eat it out of. A fun fact in the French language. If you are French Canadian, popcorn is called maïs soufflé. If you're in France, popcorn is called popcorn, which is pretty English. So I'm just going to wait for my three kernels to pop and then I'll show you the rest of the steps. My three kernels of popcorn popped. I gently removed them. I threw in my third cup of popcorn kernels and made sure they were on an even layer. I took it off the heat for 30 seconds and now it's back on the heat. I want to remind you to keep a lid on the popcorn because otherwise it's just going to pop out all over the place and you're going to have a huge mess. Also a good idea to just move the pot back and forth a little bit while the popcorn is starting to pop. I don't know if you can hear it popping but it's definitely starting to pop. So I'm going to do this until it slows down considerably and then I'm going to throw it all into a bowl. Sounds like it's pretty slowed down to me. So I'm going to take that off the heat. I'm going to grab my bowl. popcorn into my bowl and then I'm going to use that warm pan to melt a little bit of butter. I prefer my popcorn with just salt and butter but you can throw on anything you like. Garlic, parmesan, sugar and cinnamon. The recipes are endless actually. Uh, if you have a favorite popcorn topping that isn't salt and butter, please let us know in the comments below so that we can try it out. So my butter is melted. I'm just going to throw that onto my popcorn. Toss that a bit. And now I've got perfectly popped popcorn with salt and butter and it's ready to go. Bon appetit!